got some issues that nobody can see And all of these emotions are pouring out of me I bring them to the life in you It's only right, this is the soundtrack to my life Hey guys, what's up? This is Samsung Intercept ABC here with another video. This video is going to be about the Android on screen virtual keyboard and how to install better keyboard application. Okay, to start, um, the Android market includes a bunch of different applications that can change your Android uh, on screen virtual keyboard. Um, the keyboard that is up right now is titled uh, Better Keyboard. Um, it expands the key, key sizes, so it will give you a supposed better keyboard experience. Now, uh, the standard Android keyboard, which can be accessed by quick holding on a search box or a message search or a title bar, uh, you hold down and click input method, then just Android keyboard. And this is the standard Android keyboard. Now, the keys are a bit skinnier and smaller, and supposedly it does not take up all the space necessary that it can, so it gives you a less uh, special typing experience, I guess. But um, I don't. I, I do prefer a better keyboard, so I do recommend you, you follow this video. Okay, let's switch back to better keyboard. And better keyboard. Okay. So this video is going to be about how to install better keyboard and uh, change it so that it gives you the best typing experience. So first you want to go to your uh, menu tab on the bottom left hand corner and go to settings. Then you want to go to applications and if you haven't already checked off unknown sources you want to make sure that the uh, unknown sources is checked on. So you want to make sure that this has a little arrow in the box. Then you want to go to the browser. Now the better keyboard application is available on the market but it's three dollars and that is a price that I'm not going to pay anytime soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to pandaapp.com and I've said it before so it's um, P A whoops. Okay, it's P A N D A A P P, and then dot com, panda app dot com. I'll spell it out in the description below. But once you're there, if you type it in exact in the address bar, then it'll take you right to the site. And once you're at the site, you'll get the uh, home tab highlighted. Wait one second. So you'll see this screen. Now, uh, let's zoom in. You want to go to the Android tab. Let that load up. Then you want to zoom in again and go to. Wait for it to load up. And uh, when you're there, you'll either already be on the download tab, but if you don't see this screen, then you're not in the download tab. Then you just want to go to uh, the download tab that should be over in this area on this blue tab line. You want to go to input keyword, and let's type in. Um, Better keyboard. And I'll let that load up. And uh, from today, February 11th, um, there are two versions 7.4 and 7 and uh, 4.01. So we're going to go to the most recent one. 
All, you want to click download on the right side, highlighted in green. But I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel this. Cancel. And you want to let you you want to let that continue. And when it is done, you want to click on the uh, when you're in active downloads. You want to click on that download, and you want to hit install. And if you don't get it, I have another video on how to install third-party applications. So go to that video, and I'll put a link in the description. So when that's done, uh, you might not notice a change in your keyboard right away. That's because there is a separate app for better keyboard. So you want to go to the app. And this brings you to your better keyboard settings. Now you're going to see this one tab that says enable better keyboard. And you want to click switch and then better keyboard. Then hit back. Now you have the option for a keyboard skin. That's cool because there are some skins that, you know, make your phone a little bit flashier, I guess. Um, you can change the font, but you actually have to download font packs, which I am not going to do anytime soon. But um, you can also enable a keyboard click sound, like a uh, as you type something, it'll play a little so sound. Um, right now, I have it set for the iPhone sound because I do like the iPhone click. Uh, you can change a vibration duration. So basically, when you click a key, how long it vibrates, and I have it for short, so it's a quick little buzz when you tap on a key. And you have the option for it, auto capitaliz capitalization, a sound on key press, and to vibrate on key press. And uh, that's about it for the settings. And uh, the standard skin for better keyboard is black, um, and the keys are nice and spaced out. Now, right now, I set it to uh, don't use default font, so this is not the default font, and I like it because the keys are a little bit bigger. So, it's really nice to type on this. Uh, I'm at an awkward angle, so I'm not going to be quick, so I'll just write, uh, this is a uh, test. I'll turn up a bit so you can hear the beep, and then... This is a test. Oops. So you can hear the little clicks in between. I typed it in a little bit too much there. <laughs> so yeah. That was a better keyboard on the Samsung Intercept. I'm Samsung Intercept ABC, and this is a video on how to get a better keyboard for the Samsung Intercept. I've got some issues that nobody can see And all of these emotions are pouring out of me I bring them to the light for you It's only right This is the soundtrack to my life